I'm gonna, oh dang, it got my eye. Oh, y'all see it? Dang, that jump burn. This is what the washing style was made for. When you're wolfing, the washing style is how you lay your hair down. It's how you progress. It's how you keep your hair looking nice and laid at all times, okay? When you go to sleep without a do-rag, you wanna bring the waist back, washing style, which is what we don't say. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna show you everything that you're gonna need for this washing style, okay? Number one thing that you're gonna need is this right here, okay? Something that I like to use for my washing styles is this spray bottle. It's like a continuous spray bottle, so you spray it all over just to get your hair wet. You can get this on Amazon. Just type in continuous spray bottle or maybe go see a beauty supply store and see if they sell it. I'm gonna have it linked in my description. Next, you're gonna need this detangler brush. This is going to detangle your wolf. Since you have a lot of hair, it's gonna be tangled up. Use cold the juice at checkout to get 10% off your order. Next, you're gonna need a shampoo bar. This this right here is gonna get you the best lather possible, okay? You get this at thewaveessentials.com as well. Use code the juice at checkout to get 10% off. Next, since you're a wolfing, you're gonna need that comb to comb your hair back or comb it forward, whatever you wanna do. Just lift that hair off the scalp. This right here is a must have. Then you're gonna need a medium brush. Depending on how heavy you're wolfing, you can either use a medium brush or you can use a hard brush, okay? But today I'm gonna to use a medium brush because I'm not really wolfing as heavy yet. So I'm gonna stick with my medium brush. I suggest you use a medium brush that you don't use for your main session because water can damage the bristles, okay? So if you have a brush that you really love, don't wash the style with it because it might get damaged. Then you're gonna need a mirror, you know, cause you always gotta brush with a mirror. And then last but not least, you're gonna need a do-rag to rag up and then rinse out the shampoo. You can use two different do-rags. I love using this do-rag because it, it keeps my hair nice and laid and silky. This is a satin do-rag, or you can use a mesh do-rag. I don't like the fabric of this do-rag, but when it comes to rinsing out the shampoo in your hair, it gets the job done. But when it comes to laying my hair down and getting the results that I want after my washing style, I don't like the results that I see. My hair be lifting up, my hair don't be as laid, and this is not as stretchy as the satin do-rag. I definitely recommend a satin do-rag, but it's gonna be a little bit harder to rinse out the shampoo in your hair because there's no holes and it as this one, okay? This is from thewaveessentials.com. If you wanna purchase it and use it, go on thewaveessentials.com, use code DUDJUICE at checkout to get 10% off. I also sell do-rags. These are my own personal do-rags that I design myself. So this, these are satin do-rags you can find on my website, shopnarest.com. You got the black with the red stitching. The one thing that's different about my do-rags is I want it to be different from everybody else. So what I did was I added my logo on the strap of the do-rag, so when you wear it, you're gonna have the logo shown right here. And it's just, you know, it's just simple. We got black and gold with my logo on the string. We got brown and pink with the logo on the string. If you guys like my do-rags, you wanna support your boy, shopnarest.com. As y'all know, I also got satin line beanies. I have a black history myself going on right now. Use code NEEK14 to get 20% off your entire order the entire month of, of February. Go check them out. <laughs> Sandline beanies, shopnarest.com. Let's get it. This my this my wolf right now, y'all. This is my wolf. I don't know how many weeks this is right here. I lost count. Bro, one side is up, one side is down. Step one, fill this up with water. Um, the fact that you guys are, you know, right in front of my sink, I can't open, you know, I can't turn the water on and wet my hair. I'm gonna have to improvise and use this. First step is to wet your hair. I recommend you wet your hair with lukewarm water. It's gonna be messy, man. I, I wash the styles are very messy. Take a shampoo bar, you want to wet that as well, okay? The first wash is to wash out all the dirt and all the old products that was in here, so the lather is not going to be as great. But that's okay. So just you know, scrub your hair, take out all the dandruff, all the old products. You can see the lather's a little dirty. Oh dang. Don't let it gain your eyes, y'all, because it almost did. 
and that's gonna burn, okay? So be careful. You wanna scrub everything, and then you wanna rinse it out after you finish. You feel like you had a, a good scrub. Try not to use your nails. If you have long nails, don't use your nails because you're gonna hurt your scalp. So if you have long nails, try to use your fingertips. Right now, I, I clip my nails, so I, my nails are not that long, so I'm using them. But if you have pretty long nails, be careful. I'm gonna, oh, dang, it got my eye. Oh, y'all see it? Dang, that jump burn. Guys, don't let it get in your eyes, please. All right, now you gotta rinse it out. I'm, I'm, can't see. All right, I'm gonna have to move y'all. Rinse out the shampoo in my hair because I can't, I can't rinse it out with this. So give me a second, y'all. All right, so I've rinsed out the shampoo. Don't worry if you didn't get everything because you're gonna put more shampoo in your hair. Right now, just wipe your face. I mean, my hair is already wet, but I like to wet it some more so it can be dripping. We're gonna go with our second, um, our second shampoo, okay? This time the lather should be a lot better because now your hair should be pretty clean. Um, the shampoo and everything all over, um, should clean all the old products from your hair so that all of those should already be gone. See, lather's better, lather should be cleaner. It shouldn't be dripping down your forehead because it's dirty. The reason if it drips down your forehead is because your hair is dirty. So uh, the products and the lather and the shampoo doesn't mix up. So it, it's kind of watery. So it has no lather whatsoever. So whenever you see water, the lather dripping down your forehead, just know your hair is still dirty, okay? If, if the lather is not dripping, now you're ready to, you know, style your hair. So I've already washed my hair. Now it's time to style it, okay? Bro, the lather on this shampoo, y'all, is crazy, okay? I'm telling y'all. Shampoo bars all 2023. That's what we rocking, all 2023. Shampoo bar. Lather is extravagant on these shampoo bars, man. Now this is where the detangler brush comes in, okay? You want to take all that, all the, um, the lather, and everything and you want to just you know put on it now before you pick up your mirror make sure you rinse out your hands so the mirror doesn't slip out your hands and break now that you rinse your hand wipe it because even with your hands being wet you can still drop the mirror it could slip out your hand i suggest you start with your weak side you spend more time brushing your weak side than you do with your your good side so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to start brushing with my weak side which is my left side. The reason you need the detangling shower brush because your hair is very tangled right now. It's super tangled. So you need that detangling shower brush, okay? Especially when you're wolfing. This video is about how you wash your hair when you're wolfing. If you're not wolfing, you don't really need a detangling shower brush. But since you're wolfing, you're gonna need this. Link in my description, go get it. This feels good, man. It scratches my scalp, feels great. Okay, now that you finished desangling your hair, if you feel like you finished detangling your hair, I think my hair is pretty detangled. I'm gonna take the um, the lather from the, the brush and you just wanna put it over your hair. Don't waste no lather, y'all. Don't waste it, keep it in your hair. Yeah, this is clean lather, this is not dirty lather no more. We already washed out the dirty lather, this is clean now. All right, y'all, make sure you clean your detangling shower brush. Now that your detangling shower brush is nice and clean, put it to the side. This is very important. You're going to need it. Link in my description. Our next brush, medium brush, okay? I'm going to wet it. Now, what I like to do, which I don't recommend because you're going to mess up your shampoo bar, is I like to scrub it, okay? <laughs> this is so bad. Bro, you're just scratching the back of your shampoo bar and... I don't recommend this. If you spend money on this, don't do what I'm doing, okay? I'm just, I just don't care at this point. I just need to lather my brush up so I can get the lather. And bro, this is bad. I really scratched up the back of my shampoo bar. Now you wanna wet it. Okay. 
okay? Now, what I don't like about using a regular brush is that it takes away your lather. If you didn't know this, the more bristles the brush has, um, the less lather you're gonna have. So the reason why I love the detangler brush so much is because the, the bristles are super wide. So it, it helps your lather, okay? But since the bristles are super wide, it's hard to lay your hair down the way you want. So that's why this brush comes in. That's where this brush comes in. But the fact that the bristles are so close together is gonna take away the lather. You wanna see what I'm talking about. Start with your weak side. See how it's taking the lather away? Like, that's annoying. So now you gotta keep adding more soap, more water, just to keep the lather in there. But you'll learn as you go. If you have any forks, this is the best time to try to break those forks, okay? It's the best time to, to brush um, different angles. It's the best time to shift your weight because your hair is very manipulated right now. As you can see, I have a fork right here and I'm trying to break it. In order to break that fork, I gotta brush this way. So that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know if y'all can see the difference in lather, but yeah, the lather is nearly gone right now, guys. It's crazy how the bristles play a huge role in your lather. Make sure your crown is laid. The reason why I stress lather so much is because if you don't have lather, you won't be you won't be able to um lay your hair down. Your hair's gonna be super frizzy. Why? Because water makes your hair frizzy. So if you're brushing with no lather, it's gonna be super hard to lay your hair down. The reason of the wash and style is to help lay your hair down. So in order to lay your hair down, you need lather, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to add that lather back to your hair. Grab your shampoo bar, wet your hair. <clears throat> Grab your shampoo bar and just, you know, try to go with the with your pattern. I mean, you could do it like this, but just try not to do it too hard because you don't want to scramble your hair after you just try to lay it down. Just don't go too hard, guys. But yeah, definitely this, this is how you add lather back to your hair. Lather is very important. Before you rag up, you want to have as much lather as you can just so you can lay your hair down and mold it down. The lather is going to help you mold your hair down. All right, put some more water in there. Put some um, water in your shampoo bar as well, so it'll be a lot easier. You know, add that lather back in there. Like I said, don't go too harsh because you don't want to lift your hair up. Wet your hair one more time. You can do this as many times as you want, y'all. I feel like this is enough for me. Wet your brush. And now, wipe your hands. Pick up your mirror and get to work. You see the ladder coming back? And when you're doing this, you just wanna tap, just tap. Don't go too harsh, because if you tap, the ladder gonna come back a lot faster. Just tap, tap, tap. There we go. Keep tapping, keep tapping. Don't add any pressure, just keep tapping. Go to your crown, make sure your crown is, is fixed. There we go. Just tap, just tap, just tap. You wanna have enough lather to the point where you can still see your waves. Cause if you have too, too much lather, if your lather looks impeccable, then it's gonna be hard to see your waves. And another thing is when you have too much lather, the brush is going to start, um, um, hydroplaning. You guys know what hydroplaning means? Just like when you're when you're driving with a car and it's too much water, um, 
Think of the, the water being lather and think of the car being your brush. That's what's happening. So you're trying to get to the waves, but the brush is not getting down there because it's too much lather and it's hydroplaning. It's not really doing anything. So it's just gliding with no, like for no reason. So you're just wasting time. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. Get your lather back in there. Make sure you lay your hair down. Now you can start adding some pressure. Now you wanna switch sides, take the lather, put it in your hair. Don't waste any lather, y'all. Don't waste any lather, because it's hard to get lather, okay? Because if you waste it, you're gonna have to do that. You don't have to spray and do all that all over it. You don't wanna do that too many times. Do the same thing with the other side. Tap, tap, tap. Um, What's your brush again? And just tap. Tap, tap, tap. You could take some lather from this side and just, you know, put it on this side. You could steal some lather from this side, it don't matter. I don't think they're gonna be mad. The right side ain't gonna be mad. I need some lather, bro. Let me get some lather, man. Let me get some of your lather, you feel me? Left side, I need some lather bad. You feel me? That's how you do it, man. Now, you just brush your hair like a regular brush session for about eight minutes. And you do that, any fork that you need to break, it's gonna be easier to move, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna focus on my breast session. I'm gonna have to ask you to move on this side so I can focus on my breast session. And when I'm done brushing, I'm gonna put y'all back on here and show you how I lay my hair down and put my do-rag on. So what I'm gonna do now, only thing I'm gonna do is brush. I'm gonna do a regular breast session, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna catch on a few. Just finished my breast session. What you wanna do now is you wanna take lathers from the brush and just distribute it throughout your hair just so you can get that nice, nice lay that you're looking for. Okay, just like this. This part is very important. That's how you're gonna lay your hair down and mold it down the way you want. There we go. Some water in there. Take your do-rag, the do-rag that you're gonna use. Don't forget to get your do-rags at shopnarest.com. Um, huge Black History Month sale going on. Use code NEEK. 14, N-E-E-K, 14, to get 20% off your order. Put some more water. You, you add water when the lather starts getting thick. So whenever the lather starts getting thick, add some water so you can loosen up that lather. So that way, it will be easier to rinse out whenever you're rinsing out your, your lather in the shower. I definitely recommend that you get in the shower to rinse out your lather instead of doing it in the sink, you know? It's better to do it that way because you're gonna really wash it out. You wanna wash it out thoroughly. Don't forget, I told you guys to wash your forehead or wash your face before you got to this part. Because right now, if you do the whole wash and face thing, you're gonna mess up your edges. You don't wanna do it now, you wanna do it before you start. All right, just keep laying it down. Use your mirror. At this point, I'm not gonna my, my hands out no more. I'm gonna just have the this grip right here where I hold on to this ledge right here so the mirror don't slip. So you wanna try to lay uh, your crown down as well to the best that you can. Lay everything down before you rag up, okay? Because however you rag up, that's how your hair is gonna come out once you rinse out the shampoo and you know, you wait for your hair to dry. That's how it's gonna come out. Get get the nice grip, and you wanna fix your crown. Fix your crown up. Make sure everything is nice and laid. Cool, cool. All 
All right. Rag up. Okay. So when you get your hair as late as you want it to, you just throw your do rag on. This is the best way to tie your do rag to get the best compression. You could double compress if you want to, but I'm not gonna double compress because I want to thoroughly wash out the shampoo out of my hair. I'm gonna make sure the do rag is tight. I'm gonna pull it down. You can wet it some more, so you could make the um, you could make the lather less thick. You know, when it's when it's not as thick, it's easier to rinse out. All right, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get in the shower. And when you're rinsing out the shampoo out your hair, while the water's coming down to your, on your head, you want to just push it down. When you push it down, you're bringing the lather up and then the, the water's going to wash it away. Don't, don't scrub. Don't do none of that because you don't want the, the do-rag to move around. If the do-rag moves around, your hair's going to move around under there. And then, you know, you're going to mess up your washing style. So, like I said before, if you want an easier rinse, you want to use this do-rag right here because the holes are a lot bigger, you see? So that way the water's going to go through and rinse out the shampoo. But since it's not satin, it's not really going to keep your hair as laid and it's not going to, you know, it's just not going to be compatible with the way you want your waist to look as the end result. So yeah, definitely best to use a satin do-rag. You can get your satin do-rags at shopandarest.com. Don't forget, we got a huge Black History Month going on. 20% off the entire website when you use code NEEK14. Go shop and I'm going to show you guys the result maybe in the next video. If not, then maybe, I don't know. If I could fit the results in this video, I will. But if not, you guys are going to have to wait for another video. Thank you for watching.